Right. Time to think about supper time. Mm. Well, it's a bit early. A bit early. A bit early, but anyway, we've been doing some interesting experiments on this particular trip. You see, I figure that if you're carrying lots of meat, you're going to freeze some of it. If you have to freeze some of it, it means it's the difference between freezing and just refrigerating is huge in terms of the, the, the demands on the energy systems of the car. So if you're parked for a number of days and you freeze a lot of meat... Mm, it's valuable. It's valuable space. Your fridge, you chew up battery. very small space you operate in. Yes. Out of. Yeah, small, limited space. So what we've been doing on this trip is kind of half-half, not frozen, but fridged meat and these. Now, I've experienced them before. What did you think? Well, the first time I've tasted this particular brand, and I was very impressed. It's light, it's quick. Yeah. Literally, you boil up some water. Yes. For this particular one, 440 milliliters. Yeah. Pour it in, into yeah. this bag, which stands very nicely when you pour it in. Rip the top off, yeah. and I served it up. It's actually very, very tasty. And, and, and on average, it's 10 minutes. Hmm. Um, we've eaten, we ate uh, chicken a la king. What are the other things yeah. we've eaten? Oh, sure. that. Mexican chicken, this Thai chicken, which is very hot, very nice. Uh, and how about this? Three fruits cheesecake dessert. Now, I actually haven't tried this one, but I have no, tried. We tried the other one. Their uh, strawberry cream dessert or something. It was fantastic. Yeah, that was good, actually. It was, it was really, really good. Really really good. That. Yeah, the rice is actually very good because you get a good amount of rice here. Yeah. I had boiling water and it was tasty rice. It the was, rice isn't difficult good. to cook, yeah. but it's a nice bulk. Yeah. Yeah. I just think, you know, for when you're stuck, you get to somewhere and you're just too tired to make a decent meal. Yeah. Hot water, which you can boil up very quickly. Yeah. And you pour in, and you've actually got a great meal, really got a bed and sleep. Yeah. So it, it does give a lot of convenience. Yeah. And as you say, it's light, it's not yeah. adding weight. Yeah. A little bit bulky. But considering to make a meal of this quality, you need well, quite to a make few a Mexican chicken, it would be a lot more bulky than that mm. to bring the ingredients. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And tasty, very, very good. So I'm saying that if you have a space problem in your vehicle and you want to put uh, a really tasty, easy to prepare meal in with your other stuff that is, you know, more... It makes a nice sort of a a difference. You know, we wouldn't eat these every night. No, it's I don't think I would nice. eat them every night. No. It, it's um, too nice to eat something straight off the fire. Absolutely. But I've used other ones which yeah. also, they have a self-heating pad in them. Okay. Which is, just saves you boiling hot water. Yeah. You literally pour water in. Yeah. But I was very this impressed is, with this. This is back country. Yeah, very good, good stuff. Yeah. Very good stuff. Uh, anything else um, about carrying food? We know a lot of times I'd say to people to vacuum pack meat because it just right, makes yes. it much better. You vacuum pack the meat. If it if you if you uh, marinate it, it helps as well. And then I'd layer it in my fridge, or right. my freezer. Right. And I'd literally plan it that when I open my fridge or the freezer if it's yes. frozen, I take that out and close it. You want to minimise that. And if it's frozen in the morning, that vacuum packed frozen bit of meat yes. makes a great ice brick in your cooler bag. So you actually can use, use it, of, yeah. a bit of both and it yeah. saves, you know, it just adds a bit of it. And it also stops your fridge smelling. Hmm. Yeah, the last thing you want is stuff spilling, you know, milk and is but one you, but, thing, you but, but you can't but stop something's meat if no. it seeps. It's bad news. It's terrible. Yeah. Vacuum packed. It helps. So I definitely solves think that, that, that helps solves a lot. That Most butchers will do it for you yeah. properly, yeah. which is great. So carrying the rest of food, vegetables, soft stuff like potatoes and onions and that, Potatoes need to be sort of an aerated bag. Yes. Oh, I grab an old potato bag, actually. The old paper yeah. bag is really good. Yeah. And then a soft cooler bag is great for that type of stuff because it doesn't get all bruised and bashed around. Right. Tomatoes or stuff in a fridge, you yes. know, heavy bumps, and they're going to yes. take a bruising. Yes, we bought six eggs. Four survived. Mm. Yeah, but well, I didn't use a proper container. So um, yeah, I think if you'd actually used a proper egg carrier, you'd yeah. find that probably would have been fine. I'm sure it would have been fine. You know, yes. It would have been easy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're good. So I'm looking forward. Tonight you have Moroccan lamb. Uh, with? Pudding is? With cheesecake dessert for pudding. Mm. There you go. Yeah, and well. it'll take precisely? Or well, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Main food and probably 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes of that. Oh, Pretty good well. game. Right, I want to talk about stoves. And while I'm going to do it, I'm going to show off. This is my current favorite product. It's called an MSR Reactor. And it is a water boiler. This will boil water very, very quickly. 
Okay, so I prefer, and see how long that takes, I prefer small stoves and I, and I want to be able to choose where I cook. It gives you a lot of versatility. I mean, we could be cooking in the back of the car, but actually it's really nice outside here. I, I've, yeah, that's right. That's why I, I don't really particularly like, you know, cookers built into trailers or built into sure, setups. Sure. I also find that often you've got a, a group of people and you, you'll find the women are gathering around the food and the men are gathering around the fire. And I'm kind of saying, well, why is that necessary? If the stoves can be moved closer to the fire, there can be one group and everybody cooking together as opposed to separating. That's just the yeah, way I... No, it's great. It's it, the way it works I feel really like. well. And if you wanted to get out of the wind or in some shelter, you can move it. Yeah. I like the fact that they pack up small. You know, oh, they look small ones, yeah. These ones yeah. are small. And most yeah. people don't use a lot of gas anyway yeah. for their trips. Yeah. Eight days we've used, what, we've well, used we, one of those. We've used one of those in eight, we just opened the second one in eight okay. days, two of us. That's actually very, yeah. very good. You, yeah. You'd be surprised how little gas you really use. Yeah. Um, the big heavy ones, um, you know, prefer the, there you go. Yep. What did I tell you? There you go. Boiling. Oh, it's a treat in the morning. Hey, isn't that quick? And, and I make the coffee. That is that. That is good. It's a cool toy. <laughs> <laughs> Just boil water. I don't, we don't need any at the moment. Just boiling it. Because it's there. <laughs> oh, that's popular.